Roast garlic. Method number one, the kind of messy method. He begins with the very white head of garlic and chops its pointy little head off. Then, using foil of the aluminums, he cuts a small piece. He places the foil of aluminum under the garlic and then pours some extra virgin olive oil. He proceeds to wrap it like a sarcophagus. A nice little metal death bin. He preheats the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit, or 205 degrees Celsius. Once he has enough sarcophagi, he lines them up and places them in the oven. These will roast for anywhere between 35 minutes and an hour. These little death bins of garlic are hot. Let them cool. As he opens them, he reveals the magic that is the roast garlic. Then he grabs a puddle and starts to squeeze. And it's kind of disgusting. The garlic also tends to shed some skin, which is problematic. He tends to remove some of the skin, but it's to no avail. Not to mention, your hands get super dirty and sticky. He cleans up, because if not, that's how you get ants. Then, using the jar with the garlic, he pours oil and a copious amount of salt. However, there's something missing. Braving the storm, he goes out into the yard and fetches some rosemary. Now, it's perfect. Just kidding. He seals the jar and gives it a good shake. And now it's good. Place this into the fridge and it'll last for a while. Method number two. My preference. He begins with a baking sheet and lines it with foil of the aluminums. Making sure to crimp every corner so the garlic does not run off with the onion. He smashes a garlic with the butt of his hand, not the butt of his butt, and this creates some garlic confetti, which is fantastic for weddings and for pillows. After separating the heads, he adds them to a jar with some other heads, adds a little bit of oil, and shakes. He then pours them out onto the baking sheet. However, he realizes this is not enough, so he sets aside, peels some more garlic, adds a little bit of oil, shake, shake, and back onto the pan. Now it's ready for the oven. This goes in for anywhere between 20 minutes and 45 minutes. And it's done. The magic of video. Pow! Smells sexy as f and tastes just as delicious. As the garlic cools, the skin becomes brittle. They easily separate by giving them a twisting motion, which he then separates the cloves into a bowl. After cleaning up the confetti, or storing it for a pillow, you have some roast garlic. And that is how you roast garlic with two methods. If you like this video, share, like, and subscribe, and until next time, Eat well.